I'm Jennifer Angel, these are your stars for August Pisces. Now your month ahead, there's on the second there's a full moon in your 12th house. So this really highlights for you to think about your dreams, hopes and wishes. Okay, so don't limit yourself. Don't think about the how to or how things are going to come together. Just put it out there into the universe and get a pad and say, if, if on a perfect day, um, what could I have? What could I do? What could I be? So uh, the full moon in this position is perfect to do that. Now there's two full moons this month, so it's, it's very unusual. So at the end of the month on the 31st, the full moon is in your sign. So this really gives you the catalyst, the change. So you want to use the main part of the month, as I said, just to get down, you know, no barriers, no limitations. What would you be, do and have in life? And then by the end of the month, going into September, you can start fine tuning and just making some alterations and fine tuning your goals, okay? And so you can move forward with. Now, career and money. So in your six houses, lots of activity around um, in this area, which allows you to focus on your time management skills. So you really wanna make sure that you're productive as you can be this month. And one way to do that is just to get it all organized in your calendar and, and and stick to it, like be uh, disciplined about how you spend your time. So Mercury goes retrograde um, or comes out of its retrograde move, I'm sorry, on the 8th. So Mercury is all about communication. So that's going to help you with your communication skills and to just discuss any, um, uh, any sensitive conversations or discussions that you need with uh, to have to people try to leave that until after about the 10th, if you can, okay? Otherwise, make sure you take a leaf out of Libra's book and be diplomatic, right? So on the 17th, the sun is the new moon. So the sun and the, and the moon come together and gives your um, business area a, a boost. So new business can come through about this time. So towards the second half of the month, is better to get things going for, for business-wise. Um, now let's have a look at your love and romance. So the sun moves into your seventh house, house of love and partnerships on the 23rd of the month. And the sun and Pluto have a connection at the end of the month, which is going to help you dissolve any issues, particularly to do with friends and uh, introduction to love and and this area so you could be in a social arrangement and you know find that uh, one of your best friends are going to introduce you to somebody gorgeous and there starts a love affair right there now if you're in a relationship um, it's a very nice month to connect on a social level you, you know get together with your common values and your common interests and just go out and enjoy yourself there's a lot happening this month to do with business and work but make sure you put some time aside for love and romance and just social to catch up with friends as well. Now your lucky numbers for the month are 2, 8, 17 and 31 and I've put down your most dynamic day is August the 2nd with the full moon energy. Um, it is just great for your imagination, okay? So go after your dreams and of course your second most dynamic day is on the 31st when the full moon is in your sign. Have a great month, Pisces. Lots of movement happening this month. I think you'll find towards the second half of the month that things are going to look a whole lot different. Um, I'm Jennifer Angel, thanks for watching.